Hello again. There's a lot to be said in favour of not discriminating against any minorities in the nation, whether they are Jews, homosexuals, black people, Muslims, those who wish to change sex, or any other group which is not part of the majority population. This must not, however, be at the expense of those who make up the bulk of the country's people. In the particular case of Britain, 85% of people are white heterosexuals, 99% of whom are happy about their physical sex. It's one thing to avoid exhibiting prejudice against anybody based upon that person's ethnicity or sexuality. Quite another when an organisation starts trying to make people feel guilty about being part of the majority. This happens, for example, when some government department insists that every member of staff must be trained to recognise white privilege. It is seen when some supermarket or bank makes everybody working there declare their preferred pronouns, and when people refuse to take part in such a mad enterprise, it treats those members of staff as transphobic bigots. I could go on endlessly listing similar instances, but I'm sure that you get the point. We are the majority. Most of us have no desire to discriminate against anybody because that person happens to be a Muslim or Hindu, or perhaps he's a man who prefers sex with other men and so on. We do not perhaps wish to learn all that much about either Islam or homosexuality. It is enough that we will not practice discrimination against those individuals. Our private thoughts and opinions, though, remain our own or should do. Increasingly, avoiding overt acts of discrimination is not sufficient. The government and police are concerned not with what we do, but how we think. This is an intolerable state of affairs and should be resisted strongly.